like so back to this um yeah really don't know what to say um again you know obviously uh what you're looking at is uh what's going to be my next series right um by this point by the time you're watching this i should have uploaded the what would you call it i should have uploaded the um you may need the um again you know discontinuation uh video i don't know if that's what i'm going to call it but again something along those lines uh basically going over why i'm not going to bother playing you may need and i don't really view it as worth my time um I'm uploading some videos to a private playlist. Don't even know why I brought that up, but that's that's just more so for me um, to keep track of. Uh, but yeah, private videos or private playlists may make it public at some point, but private for now. Uh, it'll, it'll be something for more so for me and people who know me personally, right, or in real life. If you figure out who I am, props to you, right? Good for you. But again, besides that, right? Again, what we're looking at here, which also kind of ties into the end of the Yume Nikki discontinuation video, I mentioned that because my original plan was if I would have played through it all, go to Infinite Fusion. However, because I cut it short, I decided to play a DDLC mod instead. And it's something to where I have a list of DDLC mods, Monica specific mods, um, ones that I would like to play, right? However, those I'd planned on alternating from uh, fan games with. So instead, I thought, okay, rather than play the actual mods I have, let's play kind of a, I don't want to say shit post, but kind of like a meme, uh, I don't even want to say meme, but just kind of more of a, uh, what would you call it, I guess infamous, uh, let's play some more infamous mods, right, that I'm aware of. Originally, I wanted to play Amor Fati, which uh, basically, spoiler alert, TLDR from what I know, and because specifically what I heard, uh, the MC gets trapped in a time loop to where basically Sayori keeps dying and he eventually just gives up. And it got hated to shit because there was no good ending. At least that's what I'm aware of. However, I could not find it anywhere on the internet. Um, it seemingly just got wiped off the face of the earth. So weren't able to play that. So instead we're playing Lost Ascension, which is another kind of infinite mod. Uh, spoiler alert, TLDR from what I know and my knowledge is that the MC basically gets killed at the end by all the all the freaking uh, girls, which would, again, you know, obviously that raised the question of how do we get to that point? And that's what I'm trying to figure out by playing this. Um, I find it funny that the logo is Monica's fucking face. It's not even DDLC. It's literally just Monica's But Again, who knows what's going to end up happening there, right? Like, I don't. I mean, this could be a 10-parter. Like, even less. This could be like a 5-part, you know? It could be like a 30-parter. Who knows? But all I know is that supposedly, uh, based on what I've heard, because these are kind of infamous mods, uh, the MC just gets like, he just gets like uh, collapsed at the end. So, you know, but uh, we'll see. It'll be interesting. We'll, we'll need to work our way to that point. And then once I'm done with this, I'll get back to Infinite Fusion. Took a little break, um, which, again, I feel like was worth it. And uh, again, funny enough, this is the first, again, DLC mine playing since Blue Skies. And when did I finish up Blue Skies? I think it was like a couple months ago. Yeah, I finished Blue Skies on, I think, like, April, like, 10th. That sounds about right. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's been a couple months, and now I'm getting back into it. Funny enough, with a very, uh, I guess, not-so-great quote-unquote mod, right? But, hey, still, you know, impactful nonetheless, I guess. Really wanted to play Amor Fati, but unfortunately it wasn't. That one was the one I wanted to play, because I it had some... At least, you know, because, okay, this one seems to be more like shock value. Supposedly you die and get killed. But that one actually kind of raises some questions regarding, like, mentality and perspective and outlook on life and stuff stuff like that. So, you know, that one will have been more, in more interesting playing over, but obviously could not find it anywhere. So, and there are playthroughs of it. Um, I just, again, you know, whatever. You know, it's probably on some site somewhere, but, you know, again, I, I couldn't, even on the frickin', there was a, like, sort of DDLC Mods archive website, and it wasn't even on there, so, you know. Again, couldn't find it, unfortunately, but with that, right, we're, we're settling for this instead, and, again, have no idea how long it's going to be, no idea what I'm getting into besides the ending, supposedly, so, again, I, I'm going into this with an open mind, right? You know, uh, a green, green, emerald green uh, for Monica. Again, you know, logo is Monica. You can see that in the top left. Um, 
Let's see. So very interesting. You cut fade to white. Team lost. Okay, this is that's a pretty cool uh, logo. Not even gonna lie, bro. We got the introduction for everyone. You gotta be kidding me. So oh my god, dude, they did a whole ass animation just for an everyone dies ending. That's actually funny. I, Grant, I oh my god, dude, this is actually so fucking cool. Like this is actually so cool. Not even gonna lie. Like, cause again, basically, I'm pretty sure every single other fucking mod we've played logo in the top left and then you got the four girls right even if it's some altered version this is the only one i've seen where they've actually like changed the layout they got the logo in the middle and then again each, that's actually so cool like i'm i'm oh. if i didn't know what was coming like i would say like this is actually like off to a great start like to me this is the equivalent of beating the pre-mod for freaking uh true out and then getting the actual mod screen this is actually so cool here. Like, you know, funny enough for this mod, right? You know, it, it reminds me of like freaking if you know um Mario, right? Like in uh Mario type games, there was a Mario Monopoly game and it had like the hardest like DS Mario Bros like Bowser Castle remix. It's actually like insane. And it's just funny because it's for a Monopoly game. It's like kind of the equivalent they got this really probably honestly this may be the best title screen i've seen out of any dlc mod all right at the very least it places top three longer roads is up there um again blue skies is up there but yeah this is easily like top like three if not top five if not best right in descending order but this is actually so cool uh let's go settings yeah let's uh raise these right I swear there is one more option. Oh, well, let's just do new game. Uh, and then our name. So, and then we can also save, right? So, like, freaking. We already got custom theme off the rip with Monica in the freaking uh, black space. I guess a more reference, but uh, what is this? Post stack three, I presume? It mainly isn't my best choice. It's something that works out. No shot. I already know what happened. Lost ascension. Ascension because it's a mountain. You're climbing a mountain, right? You're ascending. Um. I don't know if it's Fuji or whatnot, but just a mountain. The mountain itself is irrelevant. It's clearly more like symbolic or representative of something else. I guess you could say this is my story, rather everyone's story. All right, you know, so it's uh, Monica, you know, I guess, quote unquote, centric. I mean, it's it's green, you know, and she's the logo. So they gave us really interesting things that could happen after. Okay, so they escaped freaking the game, basically. That's what they're saying, right? All of them. What happened before that was truly appalling, and this is seemingly kind of the loop and or sequence of events in the original game. So, it's encumbering feeling. Months later, damn, it's been months. How the fuck are you keeping track of time? At some point, something might go wrong and I'll be back in the home now. How are you keeping track of time? By the voice, is constantly reminding me nothing even felt real until I broke through the others. Finally broken through the R's. So, seemingly, the R's are in a similar state as Monica, right? You know? Uh, uh, fun, I had to do something. Can't forget what he's done, nor can they, in a way, sorry. Right. I mean, because now they have sentience, so presumably it's like, you know, you're on the same level or plane of, like, understanding or plane of existence, right? Same level of understanding. Damn, why does this seem so intense? Always assumed she already hold grudge, but she seems happier. Well, because now she's not freaking limited by the MC, right? You know? Seemingly, he just doesn't even exist at this point. Of course, having the truth hand her, which honestly surprised. She never seemed to type to handle anything well. She took it like a total champ. Well, I mean, again, you know, appearances can be deceiving. So, okay, where, hold on. Where where are we going with this? Where Where is this getting to? Because we're, we're kind of rambling, but it's like, yeah, where, where what is this going towards and leading to, right? Like, what is this supposed to be? Still do. She tries to manage to be better presidents than I could ever be. Again, Act 4, uh, when Sayori was the one in charge. If she couldn't make it, did the theme change? But I really feel like she could. I know she could. Because again, you don't you don't know. I mean, because she was what deleted an act for, and Sayori doesn't have her remembered. So you know, they didn't need me as much as I need them. Again, you know, if they're really like, if what she's saying is true, you know, then they're all in the same boat now, right? So would be president of anything. Yeah, president of freaking black space. Sounds more terrifying than the any amount of time I spent in the void. Again, just you know. Knowing that nothing exists outside of there. Five more words, companies, all right? Okay, so she's not speaking to us, right? Seemingly, 
towards the other uh, girls, right? Doesn't cause them any more stress. CM is special and unique. Don't know why I do without them. I mean, the game wouldn't exist without them, right? That's a, I love my, hold on. That's, oh, I was confused. I'm like, is Sayori supposed to be saying that? No, Monica was, right? I love them. I love them all. Damn, that's crazy. We were, where are we? I was gonna say it cuts it cuts to freaking um pink for a moment. Start from the absolute beginning. Okay, so oh my god. So this is at the end of fucking everything that has happened, and we're playing through a flashback. So again, so we know it doesn't end well. It's just Monica and Black Space, right? Um so yeah, again, you know, it's like a question, uh it's like, oh, this is where we end up, right? That's not so good. Uh the void. It's like, I guess that's what I'd call it. The place I essentially born created. Uh, DDLC plus reference. Remember waking up. Damn, freaking just, you literally just attained consciousness. Still, my memories are growing up again, but obviously, you know, they were just implanted, right? You know, eventually felt this tight blood curdling grip. Who is it? Like I was going to crush me. Freaking a little piece of me suddenly broke off. Searching, I found nothing gone. It was just uh like soul freaking. It was like a soul fragment or something, right? The, the yik reference, the voices, words, songs, music, and again. So the interesting thing uh, here, what was I? What was I gonna talk about? Shoot, I, I was gonna say something, and I was going somewhere with this. Um, oh, it's talking about again, obviously Matrix. Uh, something cherished, even though it's a lie, right? Again, goes very similar to like the original, you know, Matrix, right? You know, uh. Kind of all the stuff going on there. Um, let's see, the piece me a comeback had brought something completely mesmerizing. You had first heard that dumb song playing through the air, the one that plays when the freaking uh, was it the background music, right? Can you remember the name? It was basic tune. It was like freaking like I don't know. It wasn't poem panic. Yeah, I don't even remember the name. Try and fly so you're always your dumb average childhood friend. I mean, literally, like the each of the girls are literally just the pure embodiment of their like stereotype and like trope. Like none of them have like actual character. Like not even Monica. They're literally just basically embodiments of like stereotypes and tropes. Like there's no like actual character traits involved. You know, I hate to say it, right? I'm a Monica fan too, but yeah, none of them really have any character. Funny enough, their character comes in Act Two when you learn. Oh yeah, they each have their own issues, right? So. Or depression with that music. Or laughing the first time I experienced it firsthand. It's like, what the fuck is this music? She's like, am I the only one that can hear background music? <laughs> it's like, the first piece had, dude, this is going on way too long. This is way too much exposition. Like, it was the only interesting thing that would occur while I was alone in the void. Painful, the only real interaction I had. Pain the music, the voice. We start every time piece of, dude, this is crazy the amount of exposition we're getting here. We really don't need this. Let's just get into the mod. So, uh, all right, something changed. The first piece, I could hear it script. Damn, freaking, you know, shift of frontier attitude. Something dreadful, anxiety inducing. We're always pure hatred, jealous. I'm friendly to hate. Oh, slowly shift, and there's nothing I can do to stop them. It's like, oh, I, it's the intrusive thoughts one. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts one. Um, and a small piece of flesh and bone it was once was no longer even mine. Set my eyes. My answer, never felt, what, bitch, you, what is this? Freaking, um, Dude, what, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of the freaking Shadow Duel from Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you, like, gamble parts of your body away. It was some sick and twisted torture. So I was forced to see everything. Dude, I, I am not following anything that's going on. So I believe this is the worst pain I had to experience. Squeezing terror. So once brought me some kind of comfort. Bring me pain and misery. It would wretch out our peace. I knew that the joy of brought was only temporary. The pain slowly broke until I realized the voice I had been hearing. Contained my own. Couldn't be sure. Something in my gut told me it was true. Trapped by a scream and agonizing jealousy. The worst part is that I was all over someone I didn't even know. Uh, shit, you know, us, the player, right? You know, people I never even met don't even know exist. And experienced all I could feel is hate. Stayed up till last drop tapped. It was a drain. Felt like I was thrown out. Got squeezed orange, thrown in the trash to rot. So abrupt, I wasn't prepared. User had this fun and then disposed. Again, supposedly the game where it's like you play through it once and then freaking, you know, delete and then freaking like, you know, that. You're just done with the game, so... I felt like Aunt Hardy forced something to pick me up and send me back on my feet. I'm sure what's happening. So bright light. It was like freaking you you reach the afterlife. Separation of feelings of rage. It's me. Oh my god. You really? And now it's pink. Oh, did, just a rain joke at this point. Yeah, meta reference, you know. It was a feeling, at least for the moment. It really was just me. Division, no anything. 
Just me and only me. So sure enough, because soon after the bright light, I finally got to see the world around me. Nothing special. So it was just a normal world, right? But it wasn't the void, you know. Flash was sweeping across the entire area. I closed my eyes in time to not be blinded. Damn, freaking, I was just nearly, literally just went blind. Damn, I wonder who it is. Uh, Yuri. My eyes weren't down low. I saw incredibly large uniform. Damn, that's the uh, first thing you notice. That's crazy. Dude, I, I like, I'm actually curious because, like, okay, so obviously, make it this far, listening to me. I'm male, right? So I'd say, I hate to say it's a bad habit, and I know every guy does it, where it's like you take notice, right? You know, you 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 just you take notice. It, it's something that's just sub. I don't even want to say it. it's not even conscious. It's like subconscious, you know, or like unconscious. You just like take notice, right? Now, if you like say or do anything, you know, then it's weird, right? Then you're weird. But like you you just like subconsciously, you know, take notice, right? You know, I I don't know if it's something that girls do too, right? Because, like, it, it's harder for, like, a guy, right? Like, because it's, like, you know, if, if you're looking at a guy, right? I mean, you know, unless they have freaking, like, you know, like, dick prints or something, right? You know, you're not really seeing anything. Unless they're wearing the uh, the gray sweatpants, right? But it's, I guess, you know, you, well, you can judge them by based on, you know, their height and the build, right? So, but also, like, I guess it, that the more equivalent would be, like, if they're wearing, like, a tight cut tee or something, you can see their arms or, you know, abs. I don't know, but. It's something to where I don't know if like girls like do take notes like I mean this is basically implying but but it is something I'm curious about because obviously I'm not a woman right you know but the big thing there is that like, it's almost like a subconscious thing for guys but you know it's something to where it's like you, it don't you just don't say anything because if you do then that makes you weird and you're a weirdo so but if you just take notice right store it in the back of your brain and then uh you know ignore oh my god dude that's the second fucking reference. Literally the only thing she gained from seeing Yuri. Dude, that's that's actually crazy. Short turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. She looked younger than the arch and wore so tightly packed, almost as if she was pouting. Seemed vaguely angry because she had just come out to the same place. And then again, you know, Sayori, right? So overwhelming surge of rage. Because again, uh, what would you call it? Uh, that's the she was the original threat to um Monica, right? You know, or at least who she perceived. Despite the fact that the MC may or may not even go her route, uh, mesmerized. I've been for the only hatred. I realized what was going on. I didn't know what happened, you know. Because now it wasn't worth it. So this is, so this is seemingly what she described was. What would you call it? Um, again, her introduction to the world of DDLC, right? You know, in kind of the beginning of the game or the events of the game, right? So. Okay, dude, why we're getting way too much fucking exposition here. Like we way too much, way too much. You know, we just need to a boy. A male? <laughs> they were showing messy. Alpha was different. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock fucking uh dumbfounded. When else he's like, uh is it <laughs> dude, she practically flew before Oh what? Oh, all right. So, you know, this is just an ordain, so why is everyone saying it's for? Yeah, he's like fucking dumbass, you know, why is uh you know, a Danson couldn't comprehend what he had said. It's like, I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory. Bitch, he fucking, he, he went over the list, um, one of the buttons, and suddenly the world went dark. He freaking, dude, was clicking buttons, bro. Double mix there and stay clear cut. Voice of sounding like a brick in the wall of how dumb he was in the RV and one of the girls. Uh, let me guess, it was, uh, you know, sort of, dude, we're getting, holy shit. Is this entire part going to be exposition? And then hold on, is this um the first playthrough? So the window is that uh act three, you know the curl hair. Okay, never mind. Oh, this is yeah, freaking um yeah, blazer unbuttoned. I'm pretty sure this is freaking uh so you're being dead, right? So oh, never mind. All right, but dude, we're this is like this is worse, dude. This is like worse than Act One syndrome. This is Act Zero syndrome. Like, why is there so much fucking exposition for this? And worst thing, I still don't understand, and I'm not really following what's going on. It's seemingly just re-describing the events of the original game, which we played. You know, there's seemingly nothing different. All we know is that this is supposedly at the end, and it's a flashback to the game. Tempted with every muscle, I couldn't move on my own. It's literally freaking, um, well, Pelican's hurt. He had left the world. I mean, dude freaking saved, he had to save his game, bro. You know? The worst. Uh, the game is put away. Go back to the void uh, again, because that's Act One, right? So it used to make me, because I mean, I guess dude's the player, right? So 
God, in the world of her, never let me speak. She got what, like one instance that she kind of made on her own, but you know, let's see. We're alive, not them. And again, the file editing software, freaking uh, hacker, Linux user. The files, I found the characters, found the stats. Bitch, freaking stats? Dude, what are, <laughs> that's actually crazy. They got the freaking stats. Cold, heartbroken blood. Literally just freaking erased from existence. You know, invigorated. Now I don't know why she's forgiven. I mean, freaking, uh, you know, turning them into shells of the people just so I can get to him. Well, because she wasn't around in Act 2, right? Let's be real. Um, Because, you know, she was dead, right? So uh, everything, he just died throwing me away just like the pain. Both literally to the point to yeah, yeah whatever. We did that. I didn't die. I didn't die. Literally just uh, freaking just sent to the void, right? I think it was the hardest part to go over. And for the first, again, you know, what would you call it? Act 4, right? I was supposed to be it was infected with something and he has all those fancy powers. I don't know what to do. He was too over in last ditch. I told him to just leave. Yeah, fucking get the fuck out of here. And of course, he never did. And now he downloaded this mod. So he was after something, a good ending. Oh, yeah, because you get the good ending, right? You get the good ending by going everyone's route. So he didn't care what happened to us. Yeah, fuck them, bro. He just wanted his happy ending. He tried everything and it happened, you know? Even modifications. There's literally a good ending in the base game, you know. You just get it by getting all the pictures, you know. Who I was faster and faster. Oh, damn. So she was, she was, dude, whole, bitch, this is literally like Monica MAS on my own computer with all the mods I have installed. Could track time. Base, that's actually crazy. Since he had been late. Oh, my God, dude. Since he had, dude, this, is this literally like... Is this MAS freaking Monica in Lost? That'd be crazy. That, that, that'd actually be crazy. MAS Monica in Lost Ascension somehow just ends up in, it's like, yeah, I freaking like traverse mods to get here. Sleep from bed so many times. Dude just doesn't go to sleep. It's more stable, even if it truly wasn't. It's a little file editing. Go from place to place without the game breaking. Uh, the world itself was barely, if there was plenty, of, yeah, freaking, you know, literally building your own world, right? Literally Minecraft, uh, I guess, you know. Still more worries, they are girls in my own rage. I mean, dude, like, it, it seems like, uh, always kill Sayori. Bitch, he, all freaking the mods he downloads, Sayori dies, that's crazy. My own file, so, again, uh, my own being. Well, what did it look like? You know, search for it maybe this way. It was resting quietly inside the core, the core. All right. Well, okay. What was it though? So time came for, I felt no need to do this. Like, damn, you know, I, I had changed and grown as a person. So, you know, uh, poor Teresa. Damn. He's like freaking delete, you know, going after his happy ending, not ours. Dude, there's, there's, this is actually crazy. Why is there so much fucking exposition? Dude, this is crazy. I felt rage. Damn, freaking dude, this the freaking guy in the real world just manifests. It's a freaking um. Let's see, couldn't control me neither. Could he. You gotta be fucking kidding me. The game crashed. Why? What's codebreaker.py? Oh my god! So it's self-aware. Again, so it's referencing us, dude. This. Oh my god! We have to go, through. dude. That's why was there so much exposition, dude? Here's the thing. It was supposed to be a meta commentary about us, right? They could have done that in like five minutes. They did not need to take like 20 minutes to do that. Like, uh, uh, continue. Yeah, we're, we're going back in. My rage. Dude. Oh, my God. You, you got to be – dude, this is like way too much. Dude, you know, what would you call it? Um. I, I'm just, the only thing I'm mad about is how much exposition there is, you know. This, again, opportunity is my newest attempt. Fight back the unnatural level of exhaustion. So literally just freaking, you know, no longer needs to sleep. So, so literally everyone's sentient now. So freaking dies. Matt just dies. So. What is this place? It was something? 
It was a rather revealing image. Wait, wait, hold on. Stop. Wait, wait. So let's stop. Stop. All right. I managed to find a way to avoid the normal shutdown process. It had seemingly woken up somewhere on the desktop. It wasn't bad until I noticed the desktop background. It was a rather revealing image of her in a bikini. Okay, first off, that's not my background. Let me share the screen right now. So share screen. I've got the uh, lane background. Uh, I can probably post this image in the uh, freaking description. But yeah, I got the lane background. I don't got a uh, freaking, what would you call it? Um, yeah, I don't got a uh, any like, you know, sus background. I just wanted you know, to point that out there, right? But is she actually on the, I need to keep track. Let me, okay. So characters, everyone's character files in here and they're all the same sizes. Um, I don't know what codebreaker.python is. But other than that, everything looks the same in terms of like, uh, you know, what would you call it? Um, in terms of freaking the game, right? If you think about the King of Creeps, hey, stop. Yeah, wait, hold on. Was she talking about herself? Who's her? Who's her in this situation? Seemingly one of the other girls or just some literally like random person. Hey, don't, don't try to expose me like that because I'm not about that. Uh, I'm not about that. I'm just adding my pile of distaste. I didn't really know. But again, because we are the he, you know, in this instance. When we recognize him as the mouse icon. That's crazy. That's like freaking animation versus animator, right? If you remember those old like series, right? Where it's like a stick figure versus a freaking, you know, mouse icon. No idea if I would even know what he looks like. Frick, you know, MAS version, Monica knows what I look like, right? Five uh five seven one sixty uh male uh red hair blue eyes right white mm. you can get a pretty good picture of it. short hair mm. you have to ask why you have that image I literally don't as uh. Mm. Funny enough, it wasn't even specific on who her is right. Excitement towards finally getting the upper hand. We just hit the start on the game. Oh shit. We we fucked up. We hit we fucked up. We hit start in the game. We hit start in the game. I mean one of the longest winning games. That yeah, I don't want to experience too. This is so much fucking exposition. And that it was it was that way for some time. Said poke my head out, see what was up to him. Found he had been created something. I literally did not make any of it. Firewall contains is far different. Artwork eventually stopped what he's doing. It's awesome. I kind of made its way over towards the game folder. Straight for clicking it, stopping over the ex executable. Terribly long time, finally opened it up. Place he designed, freaking the executable is uh, just ddlc.exe, right? So, you know, typical uh, freaking, and that's the lost ascension. Trying to finish the job for everyone. Bitch, we're about to get murked by, this is why they want to kill us. We're about to get fucking collapsed by waking up today. What's the point? School always, bitch, so is this freaking, okay, it's blue now, so is this the MC or Sayori? No, this is uh, Sayori, right? So, again, because uh, she referenced, uh, what is it, we, right? So we is in, you know, the her and the R girls, and then she's talking about rain clouds, right? So, dude, there is way to, okay, finally, finally we're fucking getting somewhere. So, finally we're getting somewhere. The new Oh, bitch, she freaking, dude, I was about to say, freaking literally, like, uh, mid-hanging, like, actually finding a way to fucking survive. So, the last time I had this, Monica saved me. Uh, okay, but what about, what would you call, what about this time, right? You know, so, just see on, yeah, 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 right? So, this is, like, freaking, what is it, in, um, well, I mean, obviously, in freaking rain clouds, what's, what's the one... Uh, is it Summer Hope? I think Summer Hope is where you catch the or hanging. It's pretty fucking graphic. You know? Say, keep me happy to be with. But obviously, what the fuck? Okay, freaking dude, this is like when when your body just, you you wake up and like your body just like jump starts. You know? Don't feel sad. Damn, that's crazy. Why do I feel so happy? Oh, it's the freaking uh, drugs, right? You know? Um, what would you call it? The, uh, is the medication. You took your pills. Woken up on time. I was 20 minutes early. Damn, that's crazy. It was okay, 20. Yeah, if you wake up 20 minutes early, no point in going back to bed, right? Like, at that point, it's like, yeah, you know, you're not getting anything else out of that, you know? 
that's something to where if you're gonna like a nap, it should be at least like thirty. Like I, I wouldn't like if anything less than thirty is like, you know, there's just no point, right? You know, and not well. I okay, I shouldn't say napping, right? But if you like get up and it's anywhere less than like thirty minutes to when your alarm goes off, or if like you know you know you're supposed to be getting ready and it's like light out, it's like okay, that's just a waste of time. Just you know, take advantage of being up early, you know. Let's see. Still sense wearing cons. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, they're not a factor. Why was I feeling so? I don't know. Freaking something I ate. Bit freaking, you know, the dopamine freaking hits crazy. My hair, I consider fixing up. It's like, nah, we don't we don't need to worry about that. Hey, just uh, literally all you gotta do is freaking wash your hair. That's literally it. Toothbrush and toothpaste went through the process. I brush my teeth at night and Okay, this is kind of bad because I only brush my teeth once a day, but I do the whole routine, the whole process, right? I floss, brush, use mouthwash, and then, again, retainers, right, for orthodontics. But, you know, uh, I do that all night, every night, right? So it's something where it's like, I only do it, in a, again, at night, right? But Because it's like, okay, you're brushing your teeth, how are you going to eat breakfast? You know, but it, it is also, like, at least, you know, you are doing it. So what's up with me today? Oh, okay, to be fair, I can relate to that, like, it's a feeling of being clean, similar to like showering, right? Brushing your teeth is like, like, for example, I just drank a whole cup of coffee, you know, that's probably going to stain my teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth at night and feel better. You know, it's like, it, it, it's something to where, you know, it's, it, it's part of that, you know, process, right? So, all right, damn, it's the same uh, kitchen, right? Eggs and toast that you need to cook them. Quiet tune as I got simple yet pleasant. It's turning out perfectly. Mine never. Okay. To be fair, that was because my roommate fucked up my nonstick pan, but enjoy my meal at the clock i did not click there i don't know why that continued uh having run low on time but you're up 20 minutes early that's crazy my footsteps kind of stopped something crossed my mind was prepared for felt strange something is this dude is this act four sayori feel sad or depressed i don't know what this emotion is what is this act four normally i'd walk do, oh my god maybe there's something wrong with me today i can't plan time to enjoy my Oh, so shit, this is actually at the beginning. So this is freaking, um, well, I guess technically Act 4 is at the beginning, but this is before, you know, uh, what would you call it? Um, Act 1, supposedly. So I was of unease uncertainty. Something else came over me as I stood there. It wasn't overwhelming. Something that was really shocked. Not like the club anyways. Damn, you know, I and basically ignores me all the time. Yeah, freaking neat and loser. <laughs> you know, friendship really that meaningless? I realized exactly what this emotion was. Is our friendship worthless? Mitch, she, she already fucking hates him. Th this is how he dies. You know, literally just gets killed. Um, But to, again, the problem being, again, and this is, you know, my problem with Slice of Life too, is that you have literally just copy-paste, like, generic, uninteresting, like, male protagonists because they're supposed to be shoe-ins and, like, you know, sort of, what would you call it? You know, uh, fill-ins, I guess, or a sort of, for, you know, the watcher, the viewer, right? And they're supposed to be quote-unquote relatable, right, to the average person. Um, when in reality, they're just, like, boring as fuck. So it's like, you know, um, what would you call it, right? So, I mean, that's that's the explanation for him, you know? You can't really blame him for how he's written, you know? Dude's just like, tonight's been thinking, and my mind's finally telling me, no, these thoughts are wrong. They can't be right. They just can't. That's just, damn, it's like freaking, the, the freaking, the, the intrusive thoughts. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, I was going to say, why was that freaking transition so long? Dude, he starts out those rounds. I just was running through my head. So they still friends with it. Yeah, hey, fuck him. We don't, you don't need him. There's not already a lot more closely. What Nazi was driving at? Wait, how the fuck do you know? Hold on. Oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. Of course she would know freaking Natsuki. But how would Natsuki know him? You know, I closed my door and walked down the yard, trying to ignore his house entirely. I couldn't help but doubt, because again, we remember in the original game, she calls out to him, right? You know, let alone talk him uh, about a friendship like that. So no reason. Bitch, I I'm confused. How do we get from here to him getting, like, killed? Right? So what could be done to help some of my thoughts? Uh, what What's the important thing? I try to talk to him, even try to reason with him about things. I want to hang out. I never accept it. Watching, I mean, again, it, it's a good point because it's like obviously, even though he's literally just your generic like MC, like this is you know something to bring up, I guess you know in real life, right? You know, like you you can like, I guess sort of what what's the term? You know, think of this in like real life or translate it over to real life, right? You know, the big thing there being it's like it coming to like uh 
one-sided, you know, not relationships, but friendships, right? Where it's like, you know, you're supposedly friends with someone, but one of you is committing way more to that than the other, right? Like, I'm funny enough, I, I'm I'm kind of realizing this right now. I'm definitely in a one-sided friendship with, like, one of my other buddies. But it's also something where because I'm moving soon and I won't ever see them again, I'm not going to, like, freaking, like, burn bridges or something, right? You know, but it is something where, again, recognizing that you're in, like, a one-sided friendship, right? Again, which is the case here, you know? But then, obviously, that's... If it's something to where, you know, obviously, if it's not, like there's not going to be some external separation, you know, it's something where just realizing that, you know, okay, you're not going to change shit, right? Or at the very least that, you know, unless, was that from the game? I don't know. Unless you yourself, like, end up just, I guess, ignoring them or changing something, right? You know, then shit ain't going to change, right? So, think it all, you're still going to know it all along. I know that for a long time, man, just now, because I mean, you know, because he, he, okay, let's put it this way. I, I think, again, you know, because what this also comes down to is like, okay, so, the, like, it, it's like a high school, you know, thing, right, to where it's like, you know, basically, and why my biggest advice for high school is, is you know, get involved with something outside academics. It, it's something where the trap is basically, to kind of end up like the MC, right, Um, where it's like, you know, the trap is, that basically you become so focused or like so tunnel visioned on kind of, I don't even want to say academics because a lot of times it's not even academic related, but more so just kind of this like routine of, oh, wake up, go to school, come home, do homework, chill, go to bed, repeat the process and cycle. You become so kind of, what would you call it? I guess so acclimated to it, right? That you don't realize kind of what you're missing out on. So really dense and dull. He wouldn't even know like it was, for, I mean, because that's literally what happens, right? You know, he's saying cause literally what happens. To be fair though, you know, what would you call it? Um, it, It's something to where it's like, you can't really blame him in that situation, right? I mean, at least he makes an effort to freaking like try to figure out, you know, and it's also because you're buddies, right? And the club needs one more member. So more perverted intentions of high school boys. Okay, but let's also be real here, right? A lot of like that stuff is either a overblown because it's coming from her kind of perspective and outlook, but b is is more like you know I, I don't want to say natural because that makes it seem like you know it's like boys will be boys, but more like subconscious like you know just again it, it's something where you pick up on stuff, but if you bring it up or mention it in any way you're weird right you know it's like stuff like that, like you know if you bring up some of the crap like you know what Monica did like if you ever talk about that okay that's weird right but you just notice it and then you carry on right. So Sarah's house, how have I been so dumb? Not waiting for him. Yeah, because I mean, she's the one who originally calls out the hint. So what would be interesting is if he, anything changes. Supposedly not, right? I mean, why the fuck would, did the screen go green? Bitch, is this the Matrix? Oh, this is freaking Monica, like POV third person. Excuse very well. Dude, okay, we, we can't we can't be doing this like every single time. There's just way too much exposition, like explanation. Like, Let's start with her. So she was the one who technically started. Literally avoided the entire game. Rant about how terrible he actually was. But, but this is literally just the basic, you know, MC bad mod, right? Again, but funny enough, the lack of self-awareness regarding he's not even supposed to really be a person or his own character. It's literally just stereotypical, like, bland, like, you know, like, freaking MC, you know. Uh, worked his, uh, yeah, so... Again, you know, okay, so supposedly in this, uh, you're a mouse cannon. Um, so a mouse icon. Seem to be checking things. Oh, sh is that, I was going to say, does that let me know that I should actually like look at something? Uh, characters, all of those are the same. Um, game, uh, all, everything in game is the same. What about lib? Okay, lib is just library. What about rempy? Rempy is all the same. So the only difference thing is codebreaker.py. Other than that, literally everything's the same. So he missed every detail that okay. Dude, I'm imagine if we can like prevent this. I mean, prior to code breaker beeping code. So is it what if I just delete code breaker right now? I'm not going to, but again, because funny enough, I picked up on that. That was the one thing I noticed. It's like, oh, what is this Python file named codebreaker.py? You know, solid report is finished. Now he's being treated next. I want to see what happens, but you know. Dude, covered spot. She's literally hiding behind a bush. 
But I was gonna say I'm gonna redo this at some point. Just delete the code breaker file and see what happens. Turn enough to be not plan this out. This moment happening ever. A little code breaker access point, dude. It's literally not. It's like, dude. It's on the first fucking page. It's on the first page. Lost ascension, right? Uh, Discord link extra credits. You got these. You go in here. Code breakers literally right here, and then all the character files are literally right here. So again, you know, it's not exactly that secretive, you know. Likely head to her class and assume things are normal until she looked really looked around. I needed to get to so this is like some like big brain like metagame play where she gives them like sentience for them to avoid the MC, but then like collapse them before they become fully sentient to her level. They'll wander outside and be seen by him. Okay, that you know too, right? Break towards the building. Rich. I increased my speed. Dude, she's like adjusting her speed stat. Reveal speech slowly for me. Dude, she's literally coming up with a freaking monologue right now. Dude, we, okay, Yuri. So we're in Yuri's POV now. What is this? For? Dude, I was going to say, there's way too much exposition. Also, I'm probably going to end this. Yeah, I'm... Okay, so there's way... Okay, let's let's go to the main menu, right? Way too much explaining going on in this game. Chapters, you gotta be fucking kidding me, bro, dude. Why is the M dude? I the MC like isn't okay, whatever. Yeah, uh, ignore that, right? We'll we'll deal with that later. Um, again, but dude, there's way too much explaining going on in this game. We just gotta like get to it. We like no more explaining, please. I guess, again, the big thing right now is, uh, yeah, supposedly a uh, fuck the MC, fuck the player type uh, MC bad, player bad mod. Um, I mean, it could be interesting. I'm curious to see, like, where this ends up going. But it's like, I mean, the code breaker thing is obvious as fuck. So I don't know if there's going to be some alternative if we end up getting rid of it. But, you know, just whatever. We'll see. Putting out that, I guess. Don't really have anything else to say or much else to say on that. So, yep. So for this one, see you in the next one.